Oh, while I am escaping with E.T. It's our final week on this fabulous Western Australian coast. G'day and welcome to the show. Well, this week we're staying at the Ramada Eco Beach Resort just south of Broome in WA. We'll be checking out all the great facilities of the resort as well as heading out there on the Indian Ocean to catch a few fish. Let's check out all the action. I bid goodbye to Ramada Eco Beach with a bang, dropping down deep to the reef where the catches are colourful Oh, there we go. And sometimes surprising. What do you do now? We mix it with whales and seabirds and get royally rewarded. Across in Queensland, I get a metre plus barra. She measured up at 101. And into heavy duty GTs. Oh! That's a nice fish. Oh! <laughs> and Chef Paul Brahini tempts us with barbecued squid and Mediterranean vegetables. Monique and I have really enjoyed our stay among all the cultural and natural attractions of Ramada Eco Beach Resort. Not to mention the luxury of the resort's top class hospitality. Today is my last day out on the water with Kurt Williamson's broom sport fishing. Well, we've headed out wide. We're in 60 metres of water. It's probably taken us a good half hour to get out to this spot. Little reef patches, some soft ferns where we can get some of those really big saddle tail or large mouth nanny guy. But 60 metres down means we have to hook them up and wind them 60 metres back up. But we're all ready for the challenge. I'm out with a couple of fellow resort guests, Stu and Laurel from South Australia. And naturally, I'm wearing a life jacket, a waist belt tight, because it's a hot day. But if it was any cooler, I'd be wearing a full one. And you can see it doesn't hinder my fishing in any way. That's what we want. Bit of a drag puller. <laughs> yeah, she's some sort of red. Yeah, he's on there too. Bit of colour. Double. Yeah. Nice. Oh, there we go. Whoop. Nice one. What do you guys call them back home? Uh, we call them this one here, be a large mouth nanny guy. Yep. And awesome eating, eh? Hey? Look at the colours in that. And his little mate down the bottom, well, he's going to make good bait. <laughs> do you love my fishing? Yes. Yeah. So you've travelled all the way from South Australia to come up just... Just to catch this fish. Oh, we're on all over the place. Nice looking fish, wow. Nice fish. Woo! All right. Oh, what a mania. That's a beauty. Not to be outdone, oh, oh. our proud Western Australian skipper Kurt gets into the action too. South Australia. <laughs> Something small cured as well. What do you got? Nice oh, Rankin. beautiful. Rankin cod. Oh, wow. Nice fish. You want to get him? So if this is a battle of the states, I'm in boots and all. Will be another cod, I imagine. Not a lot of fight in him. Oh, one of these beautiful anarchy rods. It's a PE5, which is basically 50 pound jig stick or bottom fishing. One, here we go. What have we got? Nice ranking. Wow, that's a nice looking fish. Now we'll bring this bloke in, get a photo. Send him back down. Oh, he's not in too bad a nick, that one. He's not too bad. Thanks for that. A one. nice trophy photo for me, but Stu might pip us all for size with a bit of coaching from Kurt. On the way down. See how you get in that slack line? Start whining now. Yeah, you don't want any slack line if you film it. Is that a shark? Oh. Is that the fish? Could be a shark. What is that? Looks like a big sleepy, I reckon. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's a shark. Big leopardy. A leopardy shark. Wow, look at that. Look at that. the colours on this. Wow. <laughs> look at him. He's big. That is an unusual looking shark, isn't it? I don't think I've ever seen one. That close. Really unusual, yeah. I've seen him sort of cruising on the surface before. You see him. What do you do now? Uh... You going to grab him? Nah. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Just grab him by the tail, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, it's raw. Circle looks like she should be right. And away she goes. Beautiful, mate. And my last day of Indian Ocean fishing has more speed and excitement in store coming up soon. Over in Queensland, the Peter Faust Dam, also known as Lake Proserpine, is renowned as the home of more metre-plus barramundi than any other impoundment in Australia. What better place to paddle out on a tandem kayak with my friend Koji from Sun State Hobie in Brisbane. We've both been staying at the Big Four Adventure Whitsunday Resort, just a half-hour drive away at Airlie Beach. With self-contained cabins, studio apartments and power van sites, it's a great place to stay and relax while you're fishing in the Whitsunday area. So Koji and I are refreshed and ready for whatever the dam might throw at us. Oh, the two of us have been sitting up here on the flats, just trying to get the attention of one of these huge big barramundi that are up in the weed and there's all these little pockets of clear, must be sand in, in the middle and mud and they basically work their way across and then they duck themselves back into these little holes and then they feed down there. Yeah. And look at this out the back. Whoa. He's coming around. That's a nice fish. That's a good fish, hey? Look at the size of them, the bulk of the fish. <laughs> Big bucket mouth just slurped it off the top, didn't he, hey? Bloody hell. Yeah, that was crazy. Look at that. He, he worked me through the weed. Absolutely pummeled me. He's got a mouthful of weed. <laughs> Somehow dragged him out of there. That is a big fish. Loving that. <laughs> what a big oh. fish. He's tied himself out. Pull him out of the water. He's carrying half the weed bank. <laughs> he swallowed it down. Oh, he nearly got me. Yeah. He buried me down deep. Look at this. <laughs> As you can see today, we're on the beautiful 17T Hobie. It's an absolute monster. It's almost like a boat, isn't it? Yeah, that's it's it. Been terrific. And Koji and myself have been cruising around these flats all morning. When a big fish like this turns up, it's pretty special. Well, beautiful fish. He measured up at 101. Just over that magic metre. Oh, wow. It's a special place up here. Peter Faust Dam. You want to get up here and, uh, anyway, we'll put this fella back in. See you later. See ya, bud. Look at that. Nice fish. Down she goes. This is the mean looking lure I've been using. Dr. Evil. Perfect name for a lure that gets down really deep. It says 20 plus on the bib, but it actually gets down deeper than that, which is terrific. And some super sharp hooks driving that down. And uh, the barramundi at the moment really like them. A classic Dr. Evil from the Gillies range of lures. And that's a beauty. Good fishing, good food, with the help of your local green grocer, Creo Crush Seasonings, Sandhurst Fine Foods, Noosa Seafood Market, and the Barbecue and Fireplace Centre on the Sunshine Coast. Chef Paul Brahini and I are preparing to show you another great seafood dish. Well, Paul squid. I love to catch them because I'm always chasing mulloway and kingfish and snapper, and they're prime baits, and my family loves to eat them as well. Yeah. But how do you prep them for the barbecue? Well, Andrew, it's very easy if you sort of know a few little tricks, so I'll just show you how to do it. First thing I've got to do, I've got to take these uh, tentacles off. This is all edible. It's absolutely beautiful, the tentacles. I'm just going to chop that up because I'm going to use that in the dish today. So we could marinate these tentacles in some uh, kiwi fruit. Just twist the squid and all the, all the skin comes off in one go. We don't need all the squid because it is going to be a little entree that we're doing. Well, Paul, you've scored the squid, but this year we've also got your local green grocer on board, so we've got lots of fresh produce. Yeah. What have you done with it? Basically, we've got some beautiful um, heirloom tomatoes, little baby heirloom tomatoes. Okay. Also some organic uh, garlic and some beautiful long red chilies and also some eschalots. We've got some uh, beautiful Sandhurst product uh, Kalamata olives. They're really, really nice. Same with our capers, um, again from Sandhurst, and some sun-dried tomatoes. And we're going to toss that all together, and it'll make a self-sourcing sauce. What we're going to do is marinate them now. We've got some garlic here, crushed garlic, 
from Sandhurst. And what I always do with my garlic, I leave some olive oil in there. So you actually got oil in your garlic? Yeah, it stops it from drying out so the garlic doesn't burn, but we still get that beautiful flavour in there. Also, I've got another beautiful ingredient, lime pepper. It is absolutely fantastic, great with any type of fish. It just gives the calamari a real zing. Got, like, mm. lemon, some lime through there. That's ready for a really hot barbecue grill. Yeah, and we're lucky this year. We've got the beef eater and the guys at the barbecue and fireplace centre up here on the Sunshine Coast are, are looking after us. You're going to use a combo, are you? Yeah, basically, we're going to do the squid on this side. We're going to make a nice sauce on this side. And then we're going to um, basically throw it all together. Beautiful. Yeah. We start off in a cold pan. Now, the reason why I'm starting off in the cold pan is all these ingredients will infuse into the oil and it will taste absolutely superb. In with some garlic and our eschalots. Some nicely finely chopped garlic and some chilli. It's amazing. You can smell that garlic oil you uh, put in. Next thing that we're going to put in here is our capers, just to give it a little bit of saltiness. And then in with our sun-dried tomatoes. So what I want them to do is basically start to open up in that oil. In with the tomatoes, this will just cool it down a little bit. Starting to see some really beautiful Mediterranean flavours in there. Great some... colours as well. So now we're going to keep that on a very low heat and then we're going to cook the squid. The longer that we cook squid, the tougher it becomes. So it's only going to take a few minutes. Look at the colour that we're getting on that squid. So really quick, isn't it? Yeah. Hot yeah. pan, 30, very, very 30 quick. seconds each That's side it. and you're done. That's done. OK, so we're going to take that off, pop that in here to stop it from overcooking, and then we're going to carry on with our sauce. And this is where we just get some beautiful, fresh basil that we got from our local greengrocer, and we just pop that in. It is a rustic sort of a dish. Just going to turn that off now and just refresh the dish with some beautiful lemon juice. It's pretty good. And then we're ready to play. <laughs> wow, that's good, mate. That looks great. All that fresh produce has all been turned into a masterpiece. And you can see the Creo Crush uh, spices along here. It goes really well with the squid. You don't have to overcomplicate things too much and um, you end up with a really nice product. Well done, mate. No worries. Awesome. Cheers. It's quite a drive from my home in Sydney to Queensland's fabulous reef waters. But it's a drive I never tire of when I've got the rugged power and reliability of my Mazda BT50 up front and my Quintrex Yellowfin 6700 riding smoothly behind. Today's drive has brought us to Keppel Bay Marina. Ready to roll. My favourite jumping off point for fishing the tropics. Keppel Bay is the gateway to an amazing choice of reef and island fishing. And on this cruise, we're pointing the yellowfin towards a place where I'm sure the rugged coastline will deliver some of the most exciting sport fishing you can find anywhere. I'm here to throw big poppers out at some seriously big GTs. this GT fishing. It's funny, I think it becomes addictive after a while, you know, it's just uh, such good fun. Oh, come on. Yeah, they're not too far away. And that's what it's all about, heavy duty fishing. That leader there. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh, it's a nice fish. Oh! I might whack him in there. Don't grab him by the... If I take your rod, do you want to grab him by the tail? There we go. Oh! <laughs> That's not a bad start. That's not a bad start. That is not a bad start. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Oh! <laughs> hey, look at that. Nice oh. GT. And don't you love when a plan comes together? And you see how powerful they are. It's so exciting to catch them. Well done, mate. That's a... Well done. That's a good start. <laughs> High Peak Island right there. And there's your high peak, and here's your big fish. 
All right, good way to start. Just turn left in a minute. Yep, 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 he's got it. He's not going to be able to run too far. This is uh, the drag setting on this 18,000 saltwater still is high. So he's going to come this way in a hurry. Uh, GT. Oh, little GT. That's one's going to be big ones. Little GT. It's a little green because <laughs> he was still after it though. Ah. Beautiful little fish. Hey? <laughs> and they do come in all, all sizes. <laughs> that is a little fella. Now I want his big brother or father or grandfather. So I put all the power I can into my next cast. Beautiful. Come on, GTs. We got it. Well done. The size of that thing. Uh, just came up for a second. Get her in. You're pretty clear out here now. You should be right. Just spin around, mate, like that. Make it nice and steady. Yep, just turn her right around like that. She's up near the top. Yeah, I think you've just got to beat now. Just come around, come around. A bit faster, mate. Oh, there it is. That's it. Beautiful. Just slower up there. Yep. Oh, beautiful That's fish. good. Look at that. Beautiful Woo! fish. That's a horse, that's a biggie. Bigger than the last one. Wow. Look at that sprouter just hanging in the corner of its mouth. That's a good fish. That is a good fish. Heavy duty fish, this one. This is a good 25 kilo fish. That squirter uh, hopper from Shimano absolutely killed it. You can see how heavy it is. I'm nearly going to drop her on the deck. But a beautiful fish, and they're tough. You don't, they don't mind hanging out of water for a little bit. We can put her back in the sec. Slide her back in here. Oh, woo! All right. <laughs> That's GT fishing. But we've moved around now and we're on the uh, northern end of the island and it's much calmer. We've got this beautiful section up here. I want to get one of the Shimano poppers. I want to get one of those straight in there. So one of these guys, single hooks again. It's a sprouter, 150 sprouter. And so the water can actually go through here and shoot up, really attracting the GTs in. So I'll put one of those on and there we have it. And that should be enough to land any big GT. After a great morning down deep on the reef, my last afternoon of fishing offshore from the Ramada Eco Beach Resort is set to be a change of pace. We're targeting closer to the surface on the hunt for pelagics, and all the signs are looking good. Oh, God. This much activity above the water has to mean a heap more below it. Oh! Queenies! Oh! <laughs> and with all this going on, it doesn't take long before we're into it as well. Right. That's okay, mate. <laughs> it's pulled in a big mob of tuna, but there's sharks everywhere. We'll be lucky to get these fish to the boat. Sharks, hanging around mine, oh. God, there's some sharks down there. Watch the teaser. No, oh, that's a shark. Yeah. Go on, shark. Queenie, look at them at the back of the boat. Oh, yeah, good stuff. That sucker. Queenie on a queenie. Yeah. <laughs> Cannibals. <laughs> Incoming. Look out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> That's a classic. 
good coins. That's Queenie. Excellent. That's a beauty. Spirit back in. Good way to end the day. The Ramada Eco Beach Resort, set right here on the Indian Ocean, is a must stay on your trip north through WA. I hope you enjoyed the show and I look forward to escaping with you somewhere on the water next week. See you then.